Chris Ginder is a genius when it comes to hot sauce flavor profiles, and he's done something really special with this combination. This is Gindo's Lemon Serrano Hot Sauce. What's going on guys, it's Bill Moore. Today I have another review for Chris and Mary Ginder of Gindo's Spice of Life. Now, this hot sauce company is located in Batavia, Illinois, and uh, I've been a big fan of Gindo's for years now. Chris is a genius when it comes to flavor profiles in, in hot sauce making. It's just amazing uh, the combinations that he comes up with. Uh, today's review is for his uh, Lemon Serrano small batch limited release hot sauce from Gindo's Lemon Serrano. Doesn't that sound delicious? All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. It says here on the website that the taste is vibrant and citrusy up front with earthy undertones and a hint of smoke. And I just love how Chris just lays this all out for you. Heat is medium. And try it with tomato tartine, huevos rancheros, brats, brats and burgers, shrimp skillet, grilled chicken, Mexican potatoes, aioli slash guacamole. Now here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Sodium is uh, 50 milligrams, if I'm reading that correct. No, 60 milligrams. And we start off with serrano peppers, distilled vinegar, water, apple cider vinegar, red bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, habanero pepper. Chris likes to use a lot of different peppers in his hot sauces. Fish pepper avocado all right garlic carrot sea salt organic cane sugar onion alderwood smoked salt okay that's where we're going to get a little smokiness bishop's cap pepper smoked yellow scorpion pepper okay there's some more smoke and some more heat spices lemon juice orange juice citrus zest and xanthan gum gluten-free and vegan here's the consistency on this one guys pretty much Kind of the same for all of Gendo's hot sauces. He doesn't do anything too thin. And for the most part, he doesn't do anything that's really, really thick. Everything has a nice, smooth consistency. Now, this one has a nice green look to it, I guess, from those serrano peppers. You can see some of the ingredients in there. But a very nice looking color and consistency. So let's get into this one. Ser lemon serrano. Now the flavor, the aroma on this one is just absolutely amazing. You get so much. It smells savory. Now I do get the bright um, citrus uh, zing that's coming from this with the combination of the, uh, not just the lemon juice. So it's much more than lemon and serrano, but they're there. Lemon juice, orange juice, and then some more citrus zest. It's just giving it a really nice, vibrant citrus punch. But you know something? I can also pick up on the avocado. I smell the avocado in this one. I love it. It's just so savory. And then just hints of smoke from the Alderwood smoked sea salt and the, and the uh, smoked yellow scorpions. But the garlic and the carrots and the other peppers in here is just creating an awesome aroma. But yeah, those are the main things I'm getting. You're getting that nice vibrant citrus punch. Very, very savory notes from onions and garlic. Getting that avocado. It's amazing. I just really smell it. Sometimes it smells stronger than other times. And getting a little bit of smoke. Just not real strong in smoke. Just kind of faint hints of smoke from the uh, salt and the uh, yellow scorpions. All right, let's go ahead and do a spoonful of lemon serrano. And then I'll show you what a paired this with all right doesn't that look good here we go lemon serrano from gendo's mm. wow man now when you taste it the avocado pops even more the lemon the citrus pops even more i feel the heat of the scorpions <laughs> It's got to be scorpions to sting like this or to feel that hot, not just serranos, but not overly done at all. Another thing I love about what Chris does is he can use super hots and several super hots, even in one sauce, like scorpion and ghost and reapers. 
and some other super hots, but yet do it in such a way that you get a super hot burn, but you don't get a sauce that's just unbearable or just particular painful. This is not like that at all. Uh, definitely medium heat for me. I would probably put this at a solid four, kind of four out of 10. It kind of builds quickly or kind of hits you quickly, but uh, it's just, it doesn't linger too long and it's not um, going to cause any pain for somebody who's not used to um, a whole lot of heat, but it is going to be uh, pretty hot. But the flavor on this one is just outstanding. I love that combination of the lemon, the citrus, the orange, um, and all those peppers in here. Uh, and then the addition of the smoked alderwood uh, smoked salt and then the smoked yellow scorpion peppers just giving it hints of smoke is just awesome. So layers of flavor with this one, but I just, there's something special about this one. And I thought this would pair so good with some chicken. So there's a picture of some, we had smoked two whole chickens on the Traeger uh, pellet grill. Uh, and this was amazing on chicken. That lemon, that citrus zest, the avocado, the peppers, just amazing on chicken. That was really, really good. Yeah, four out of 10 for heat. Another delicious hot sauce that is available at gendos.com. So that link will be down in the description. So make sure you check it out. Uh, Chris and Mary, thank you so much for sending your products. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you on the next video.